Hi guys, and welcome to the second edition of the $20 Lolita Challenge. If you remember the first one, it was, I don't know, a couple years ago? <laughs> Um, it was a fail. I'll call it a soft fail. This is a very difficult challenge, which is part of the reason why it took me so long to try it again, but I've always wanted to. And here we are. I came across the perfect fabric for what I was looking for the first time around. So we're going to try this again. A little disclaimer, making a Lolita outfit for $20 or under is indeed a challenge. It's not normal. It's not typical. I do not suggest this for beginners whatsoever but I just think it's a fun concept and idea and since I failed last time you know I want to I want to not fail this time <laughs> and something that I'm doing different than last time is I am not going to collect everything I need for the challenge all at once and then start and make one video I am just going to get things as I go along and make separate videos. I've been holding on to this fabric for a while and I felt like maybe if I just do separate videos, I can just jump into it, get it started, get it going. So I was at the thrift store months ago looking for sheets to make mock-ups with and I found this, this was 99 cents and I was like, cool. And then I saw this and I was like, <gasps> $20 Lolita challenge. This is the kind of fabric that I wanted the first time around. Um, just something like a floral thing that I could make like a classic Lolita outfit with. And then I noticed that this yellow matches this yellow. And this is a pretty um, good, decent weight, nice fabric. I don't even know if this is actually a sheet. This is almost like a tablecloth. So I was like, great, good start. This was $2.98. This was 99 cents going great but then I noticed that this isn't completely opaque I don't know if you can see it there but I was like I need something to line it that's the you know right color found this fabric which like matches perfectly looks great underneath it I could still even use it for bows this was 149 so I think I'm at 546 right now which is great. So I was so excited just to have a good solid start. I was like, I can just start with this and build on as I go along. From this floral fabric, I knew that I wanted to use this pattern, which is Simplicity 8127. Of course, this Lolita looking view, which if you know this pattern, you know, and know Lolita, you know where the problem is. There's quite a bit of cleavage here. So, for this, I decided that I will either raise the neckline, depending on if it's a headache or not to do that, or I'll just take the sleeves off and have this be a strapless JSK, add boning in it so it'll stay up, or just add some straps. We'll see what happens when I start getting into that. If I need to add boning, I say boning because I'll be using zip ties super cheap. So this is what I am starting off with. I don't know if I should count the pattern this was either one dollar or two dollars i'll count it as two dollars if i do i'm gonna have to watch the old video and see if i counted the pattern or not i'm also not counting my notions or the thread that i use unless i buy new thread for it all right so i feel like this is a great start i have very high hopes for this challenge classic lolita well maybe sweet classic is one of my favorite styles of lolita is my favorite style of lolita so i'm really excited about that i have a ton of fabric so i can make lots of bows and ruffles and i could just completely forego lace if i want to but since i've spent so little already maybe i could still throw a little nice lace in there but probably not because it's quarantine time. <laughs> so we'll see. I know I could still order stuff online and maybe pick up things in Walmart in the sewing department when I go to Walmart, which is not very often because shelter in place. You know, those are my options right now. Maybe this will be finished, you know, when we don't have to shelter in place anymore. I don't know, but here we go. All right, so I will see you in part two of this video. So see you soon. Bye. 